We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the New York Mets and the Houston Astros. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Now the 2-1 is in there for strike number two. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. On deck, the lefty Robinson Cano. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Here comes Brantley. He's there and records the first down. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up Robinson Cano. Bases are empty, one man out. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Slow roller down the third baseline. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Batting third, the second baseman. Into the box, Number Jeff six. McNeil. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this ball. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Now to the plate, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here comes the 2-1 to Brantley. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. So a full count now. Alex Bregman will be next. Weekly hit towards first. He's right there. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Fly ball out toward left center field. Settling under it is Marisnik for out number two. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Hit down the third baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Again, another foul ball. Again, a one-two. Nope, Pretty one good two. pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough that pitches. Two-two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And a good job there to lay off. It's four. ball four as he becomes That's their the first hitter. base runner of the ball You're game now with two away. Alvarez. Working for the punch out and the offering. Altuve, the runner at first with two gone. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Altuve ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And the run will score as the Astros are off to the early 1-0 lead. That is good. The first baseman, Yuliette So now to the plate, Yuli Gurriel. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2-2. Two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Up to an even 30 pitches here in the first inning. 
turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. It's up and out of here into the archways. Into the box now, Carlos Correa. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And here's a pitch swung on and grounded toward Rosario at short. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso. And they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. Shot toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. In now, Michael Conforto. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Payoff pitch one more time. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Stepping in now, J.D. Davis. To two and two now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Grounded back up the middle. Beautiful diving stop. What a play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the big RBI minded bat of Yoenis Cespedes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Cespedes takes ball four there, and he'll head down to first. Here's Jake Marisnik. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Striding in for Houston, Josh Reddick, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Popped up. And this is taken in for out number one. Next up for the Strohs, Garrett Stubbs. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. 
the 2 1. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Just hung in there on that one. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. The left fielder, Back to the top of the order now, Michael. and that brings in the left handed hitting outfielder, Michael Brantley. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Bregman. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And that's upstairs running the count to 3 and 1. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Good battle. Count remains full. The 3-2 one more time. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Line to the right side. Oh, and he botches it. The relay. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The one-two. Altuve at second, right to him. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Leadoff man gone now for Robinson Cano. The one two. Great job of running that fastball in on his hands right there with two strikes. Even though the batter's able to foul that one off, he's set up for almost anything in this pitcher's arsenal. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. The batter, number six. To the plate now, Jeff McNeil. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Third inning here, already 4 2 our score. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two the classic back foot slider right there with two strikes usually gets a ton of swing and misses nice layoff right there fight for another pitch to second for one over to Guriel for an inning ending double play. to the plate next will be Jose Altuve no official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one now the one and one pitch is in there for the second strike 88 on a changeup I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad man the game's changing well above the letters with the fastball that time He stays alive, still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Bottom dropped out on him, and that's a strikeout. And maybe some miscommunication there as the throw zips right by him. Now the Astros designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. 
but I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Alvarez is retired, and there's one away. Into the box now, Yuli Gurriel. He worked the walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. The 2-2. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. the plate George Springer and not a real good cut at that slider and he's behind one and two hit hard but foul toward first so he'll come back and line it up again the one two ground ball left side defense set up perfectly throw in time at first for route number two Digging in, Carlos Correa. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One one pitch, a curveball that's right there. One ball, two strikes. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Here now the two two is looked at, and the count moves full. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Next up from New York, Pete Alonso. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. Now the payoff pitch home. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Ready to take his hacks again, Michael Conforto, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs. So getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch count is a great way of doing that. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Up next the so bat. a runner at first with the one man three. gone, and into bat next will be J.D. Davis. A ball and two strikes, here it is. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. This one's down to third. Bregman has it. Altuve for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. All even now, two and two. Lifted in the air to center. Marisnik is underneath this one. And he's got it for out number one. Standing in, Garrett Stubbs. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Here's Michael Brantley. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-2. 
skied into straightaway right. Conforto is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Ramos. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Two and two to the Mets catcher. Into center field, line drive base hit. The left fielder, number 52, So now to the plate, Yoenis Cespedes. To two and two now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. From the stretch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. Up next to the so a runner at first the with one fielder. out now. And up next the center fielder Jake Marisnik. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Two runs, five hits, and two errors for the Mets so far. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The batter, number one. Shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. The 3 1. This is swung on and hit to Altuve at second. He'll go to Correa for the force, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Ready once again. Alex Bregman 0 for 2 for him to this point. So 1-1 one, one home. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Right fielder looking up. Gone. Into the deck seats in center. Jerry Spamilia. Right-handed reliever standing 6-3 gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Standing in now, Jose Altuve. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The 1-2. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. The 2-2. Two -two. Seven runs on only four hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. And it's gone as they add still another. Into the box now, Jorgan Alvarez. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Ready to take his the hacks three, again, Yuli Gurriel, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. The one-one. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. The center fielder, number four. At the plate now, George Springer. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance.
And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Still only one out in the inning. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Striding forward now is the DH. Robinson Cano. He singled his last time up. The 2-1 home. Is looked at for ball three. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And gone. An absolute bomb. In now, Jeff McNeil. A ball and two strikes now. Both teams with six hits so far. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman gloves it. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And up steps the power bat of Pete Alonso. And he lays off again, ball three. Michael Conforto waits on deck. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now a curveball misses inside. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Popped him up. Bregman over to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. Riding in once again, J.D. Davis. The third baseman, J.D. Davis. The 1-1. One, one. Mm. A runner on first with two away. Ball two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Now batter. The catcher. Wilson Ramos. At the plate, Wilson Ramos. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Reddick has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Justin Wilson is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 38. So here's Josh Reddick. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Reddick waiting and now the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Stepping up now, Garrett Stubbs. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A-Big. 
He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brentley. Lifetime numbers against Justin Wilson. He's just one for six. A one one is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Marisnik. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Chris Davinsky is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47. Red. Leading off the yeah, inning, Joanna Cespedes, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Yoannis Cespedes becomes the first out of the inning. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first, but this will land untouched. The 2 2 one more time. Altuve at second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Next for the Mets, Ahmed Rosario. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Davinsky has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, every manager and pitching coach, Matty B, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on 2-2. Two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Guriel has a play, and that ends the Ladies inning. Gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Brad Brock three. gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound ten. and start the home seventh. Brad. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Alex Bregman. He went deep last time up. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one-two is taken for ball two. He goes and chops this one out towards second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now back, second baseman. Okay. So now to the plate, Jose Altuve. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 2 2. This one smoked the other way. High and deep to left. Cespit is going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And the second run will score as well. Dylan Batensis enters now in a mop up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Standing in now, Yuli Gurriel. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And it misses three and one now. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Set. Here's the three one. And it's full now, three and two. And the knuckle curve freezes him as he becomes out number one. Here's George Springer, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. The batter, number one. Good job. Carlo. Into the box Ooh, now, Carlos on. Correa. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. Due next is Josh Reddick as he gets ready in the on deck circle. The three one. Scorched to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And it's in time to get him. But a run is in to score away from the play. So stepping in, Josh Reddick. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. And it's fouled away. Three runs already home here. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now batter. At the plate, Garrett Stubbs. Two men are on with two men out. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Mariznik is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Here's Robbie Cano now. There was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. The last at-bat, Manny B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Here now the 2-2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Now batting. So here's Number Jeff McNeil. Six. One out, nobody on. Hard ground ball. Defense played him perfectly. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Now back. The first base hit. Alonso. Stepping in now, Pete Alonzo. Looks at a fastball inside, so he's in the driver's seat, three and one. And it's up to a three two full count now. Fouled off. The next three, two. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. 
high and deep to right center. Springer giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So two are gone no in the bad. Mets' half of the eighth, the and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Davis. Now the 2 1. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Well, two on, two outs, and he's got himself in a great hitter's count. He just has to be careful not to get too aggressive. A walk would be good here, too. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. Wilson Ramos. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count, 0 and 2. Hot shot to first base and a great play to end the inning. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, Michael Brantley. He flew out in his last at bat. Smoked on the ground left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Third baseman number two, Alex. Into the box, Alex Bregman. In there for a cold strike, three and two now. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. McNeil's got it for one. On to first to complete the double play. Now at the plate, Jose Altuve. A hit in two tries for him so far. Potences is ready. 1-1 one, one on its way. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2-1 and one now. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Blake now, Jordan Alvarez fouled away. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Conforto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Brad Peacock comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 41. New inning set to get underway. Digging in to try it again. Yoannis Cespedes. No hits to this point. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoannis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. He throws him on the fastball there. Yoannis Cespedes becomes the first out of the inning. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Throw on to first, and the Mets are down to their final out. The Mets down to their final out now. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Now the 2 1. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Guriel picks it up. And he'll step on first for the out. And the ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five. And they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. 12 to three is the way this one ends. The Houston Astros put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Justin Verlander takes the win on the mound his second of the year. 
Jacob DeGrom allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The winning pitcher is Justin Verlander. His record is now two and one. The loss goes to Jacob DeGrom. He falls to one and two. Time of the ball game. Four hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.